All right, guys, welcome into Operation Metal Monsters. One life hop at night on you. I guess it's going to be. I don't know. There's a lot of interesting things. I'm sure some of you have seen the uh, the updates to some of the maps that are going to be coming out that have been part of the public mod tests. Um, I sure hope everything goes well with all that. I uh, I guess it's like one of the last times we'll see Yeho uh, used an op before all that happens. Depending on how long three weeks is really away. Um, hard to tell. But, uh, I don't know. I probably just jinxed it, to be honest with you. <laughs> anyway, Metal Monsters. Let's talk about Metal Monsters real quick. It's a classic operation that has gone from swimmingly well to disastrous, depending on who you are. Metal Monsters is a Russian uh, assault of a U.S. scrambling to prepare its position, but they have a lot of assets in, in the uh, area. But this, this uh, particular um, variation of Russia in ops is unique because they have MPTs. As you can see here, uh, infantry squads for Russia, um, two FTLs, two ARs, one lat, one medic. And then there are crewmen as required for two T-72s, three BMP-2s, one BRDM, one BTR-80. Seven vehicles um, is a lot. <laughs> a lot for Russia to have. Um, but of course, with all of this aggression, you know, possible, uh, the U.S. have definitely been uh, storing up and getting their own material because guess what they put toes on mat v's so there are two different squads here uh there's a specialty squad that starts off the main that us will choose uh but normal squads are going to be two ftls two ars two hats <laughs> and a medic and then the AT squad that starts off the main is two FTLs, two AT-12s, those are eight, the, the hats, and two MOS kits, and those are also hats, with one engineer and one medic. So instead of platoon kits, AT squad just has two MOS and an engineer added to them. Lots of, lots of firepower. This could go very badly for Russian armor. Uh, Russia have to be aggressive and usually if they could you know if they could get the uh, AT squad out of the fight that's a big headache off their back but it's not the only thing they have to worry about um, platoon wise uh, depending on their start location they will have two or three lodges with which they can uh, create their uh, fob at their cop location. There's also two Matt V tow variants, one Matt V 240. Uh, that's the AT squad's vehicles. They start with the AT squad. At the cop that US will build, they can build up to one ammo crate, two HMGs, two tows. That's two extra tows on top of the mobile tows they already have along with fortifications and they have an option for off map support um, doesn't say here on the slide but us loadouts for off map support include a uh, jdm strike or a small supply drop 
I'm not sure how much is in a small supply drop, but I think it's considerable. So, let's see how that goes. Anyway, the, uh, let's take a look at the map here again. As someone in D's at Russia Main in the background, very cool. So each of these fobs are the cop locations. Uh, according to the document, it's Echo 10, Kilo 10, Charlie 12, Oscar 12. Um, the idea is that U.S. are going to move to that location and start there, and they're defending that until the end of the round. Their AT, uh, AT squad starts in, uh, let me if I can find it real quick, Romeo 17. So that's going to be the, the southeast main is where the AT team starts at. Um, if they choose either Echo 10 or Kilo 10, U.S. will have three Lodgies. If they choose Charlie 12 or Oscar 12, U.S. will have two Lodgies. As far as Russia, they could start at Maine. Um, and there are two Mains on the map, uh, as opposed to the one that you see here on the... Uh, on the, uh, the overlay here. So they get started either location. Um, for this round, we are gonna start Russia Northeast. Less hill to navigate, more road to start running on. It's all gonna come down to how much Russia, or sorry, how much U.S. can build um, before Russia either finds the cop or if Russia can run into the, uh, the AT team if they, you know, for instance, decide to go straight up north. <laughs> um, so Russia's going to have to play it very cautiously here, trying to figure out what their posture is going to be. Right now, I do believe we're getting a brief, so we're going to zoom in to Russia main here. So uh, we'll roll and push hard. As you can see here, we have lots of metal bombs, in. lots of tanks, and we're going to be locating and eliminating the U.S. Uh, CO. So we have two T-72s, a uh, handful of other uh, supporting armor, and uh, each of your squad leaders knows who's driving what vehicle, not be fighting over which vehicle. And uh, let's go ahead and uh, just push on them. Uh, as soon as uh, as soon as live is called, we'll know exactly which uh, which location they're at, and then that's when uh, you'll hear it down, passed down from your SLs. So we'll just roll out of here as a convoy, start going down the MSR, and uh, drivers just be on the lookout to know if you need to change direction. Then we'll push kind of in a, a full send on uh, on their emplacement. Uh, we may end up splitting up the T72s, maybe two different uh, half platoons and then the supporting armor for each squad keeps their tanks safe. Otherwise, listen to your squad leaders. The plan could change halfway there. And uh, do anyone have any questions pertaining to the op? All right, awesome. Squad leaders, go and break them out. Let's get everyone in their vehicles, and that way we're ready for life. Are we gonna know where they, where they set up? Prior life or after life, or we have to find out. Uh, I'll check with Happy. Go and go and get your guys in your vehicles. Copy. Russia will know. Uh, according to the document, Russia will know the U.S. start position. Yep, Happy. So Russia will know where to focus their attack, which means we'll probably see some more planning go on in command chat here very shortly. Um, uh, I don't think my direct comms are working, but I will give you that information ASAP. I think we need more BMP. Do we get three BMP? Yeah, so... Uh, 
Lobe641 has a great point in chat. Uh, uh, AT is definitely going to be a problem. And uh, we do get confirmation US starting Charlie 12. We'll take a look here. Copy. Uh, command, we need more BMP. And I need a BTL 80 here. Copy. Uh, admin, can you uh, can you help get those for us? Yeah, you need a uh, BTR 80 and a BMP. You should have two BMPs. Yes. Yeah, I see two BMP, but they're all taken. Oh, I'm sorry, you need three. I apologize. Just getting that in right now, and I'll get the BTR as quick as I can. Take a look at the vehicles we've got here. As we get some vehicles squared away, two T-72, three BMP, a BRDM, and a BTR. There's your BRDM up front. Smart, uh, the command vehicle. Hmm. I don't know about that. I mean, it is what it is. Maybe the BRDM won't be in direct combat, but still. Makes sense for the commander to be in there. Um, Rasha, I'm seeing that you should have already had a, uh, BTR, right? So, on this side. Maybe on the other side? Okay, not bad. Let me, give me a hot second. BTR, no, they have a extra BRDM in there. With uh, multiple cornet launchers, which they can't use. I, I did scope out that uh, that location early. Oh, yeah, you have all vehicles. Uh, hold for live. Uh, and there's the BTR. Uh, Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, the far south. So ideally, infantry is going to be in there, but they also have a lot of BMPs. But Scottish, if Scottish dies, command's dead. Because like Scottish is gunning in the command BRDM. Bound check outrun is the. Uh, I'm, yeah, bound check outrun is the Russian commander for this round. Uh, taking a look at rosters Killer J, Utopian, Hanu are the three squad leads. All the vehicles basically uh, getting split into three squads. And then on US, RAF commanding with Inquisition, Matt Honcho, and Jack. Looks like Jack's going to be running the... Uh, Jack's going to be running the AT team. So two squads on the point. And build points have definitely already been used. But only two Lodgies worth. It's not going to be a lot of, um, not going to be a lot of, uh, ammo for the toes. So hopefully one shot, one kill with those toes. All right, command all squads. Uh, we're going to go to, uh, um, Lima six, Lima six, uh, interchange and then straight down the MSR. Stay east of Maine. At either map border over, come up from behind. Uh, so let's go ahead and. Ah. Uh, uh, let's actually do. Odds are they're going to come into contact with the AT team first. Tank ND. Frost, you just ND the tank. At least you know 
<laughs> Extra smooth voice today. I think I fixed my microphone. A B. I had four hours sleep, so. We're live. Round one of Metal Monsters. And the Russian armor column, mechanized column, moves out. So it looks like the plan is they're going to go straight south and they are going to collide with the AT team for US. US AT team, although they are going to move to this hill according to this mark. So... We're going to try to fly over and take a look at the FOB here in a bit. But this is going to be the biggest problem. AT team already off the road. And command has just run way ahead. So T seventy two first. getting close we're past the 7 8 line AT is going to be pretty effective but there is night and there is a decent amount of fog on the map so maybe like a click ish of visibility of course if you have like a 4k monitor I'm sure you can see pixels moving and still hit a freaking shot on it so AT team climbing the hill. There are fortifications all around this hill. Uh, this is the highest point, I think, in the southeast. And let me get my markers fixed. I should be able to see them, right? Copy. Why are they not appearing? There they are. Oh. There we go. Okay. And it looks like we have vehicles dismounted. All the hats moving around. Wait, for some reason they have... Oh, that's right. They have the 240 and two toes and here's the two toes moving into position and this is the highest point around problem is it's too far away from the road that's not a click of visibility that's maybe like 400 meters 500 meters they gotta hear the tanks though first tank rolling through They're already behind the hill. Uh, I want to see... Maybe they all got back in vehicles. Maybe I'm too far away to see player enemy players. Tanks moving through the southeast village. They have to hear these engines. We're not going to have comms for US uh, today. We are going to have Russian comms both rounds, but they have to hear this. Although they're just stationary, they're still looking. The vehicles are still oriented north. 
Russia have started to go off-road. And actually, I think U.S. have already broken uh, one of the mobility restrictions. No, actually, no, they haven't. Vehicles must utilize bridges is the U.S. mobility restriction. So continue on map order, and then the T-72 is Bravo 16, Charlie 16. I think... Yeah, this makes sense. Or not. Actually, hold on. So, Frost and Toast... And that's... Okay, so they're gonna take time climbing this hill. Where is the second tank? Kimchi and Legar? So they have split up the tanks. So it looks like two squads have tanks. Maybe one squad is all BMP. Hard to tell. Maybe it's one tank, one BMP, and then that the other squad is one uh, one BMP, one BTR. Three v three squads. AT still not in position or not moving anywhere. But they're not going to have visual on this because of the fog. Yeah, there's two tanks, three BMP, um, one BTR, one BRDM, and command is in the BRDM vehicle. Uh, this is main. Uh, let's roll over to a cop. As we can see, cop defenses down, two times tow, one times HMG, ammo crate. And all squads. Vehicles blocking. Uh, have gunners, eyes up. The FOB is technically in Charlie 12, but most of the defenses are in this entire compound here. And US have even pushed forces off the COP. This is being defended by less than a squad. But they have built a significant position for themselves, sandbags all around, so... Uh, tanks are definitely going to make a mess of those sandbags. Raf, the commander in the building with the radio right now. And Toes. One outside Raf's building, not manned currently. And I believe the other one is... Right here. Slice Tron in the toe for sure. It's got a nice position here, I think. Actually, this is a great position as long as they don't come from the north. But if they come direct south, it's going to be a problem. They have nothing guarding their southeast. Commander Squad 1 have salty hold. They don't even have of your lighter vehicles in the front. Uh, their toes and stuff. Their toe, the AT team, is off. Completely off point. And we can take a look at the other U.S. positions. Got a fire team off. Plus, looks like a squad off the point to the north. Squad three, so a fire team north. Fire team is also defending the radio. And then uh, we have one squad obviously over here. And there's gonna be a squad, looks like patrolling northeast going southeast now. Russia starting to get closer. Now they could miss it. Russia only know the grid of Charlie 12. My BTR just flipped, so I'm just gonna get my BMP in the front. Oh, BTR flipped. We'll keep moving. BTR should be able to unflip. Once you're in the front, we'll keep moving. And that's kind of rough. Uh, the last thing you really want is uh, having to deal with 
flipped vehicles. But I believe they can flip it, it'll just take a minute. Are they gonna ditch it? Try to unflip it. Well, that works. Isn't there like a vehicle menu thing where you can unflip the vehicle? Am I losing my mind or have I, have I been playing too much Arma? <laughs> I can almost guarantee you there's an option to unflip the vehicle. It takes like 60 seconds, right? That's the whole point. You're supposed to be able to, uh... Oh, okay. We got the AT team on patrol. They're going north up the, the MSR now. So they're going to have the longest time coming over. for Russia, they're going to march five grids north. Infantry out. AT team is still searching. All right, infantry can start walking north now, and then uh, they'll, they'll walk the vehicles in. But let's get infantry in the front, we can start moving north now. So Russia wants to walk from here. Not going to be a problem until you hit this hill, I think. So once they crest, I think, this area, they might be visible to the U.S. cop. But the problem is... Start full sending into Charlie 12. Uh, no need to wait. Just uh, work together. And let's, let's start pushing forward. No one's looking south. You want the T-72 stay here and rain fire? Yeah, T-72s are going to blind fire into the objective, so they need... The AT team is... Depression, but, uh, northeast, way uh, out of pocket. As soon as we get contact, but let's make sure they're not skylining. And there's also a squad missing. Wait a second. This is three's fire team for defense. Let's get our Where did squad front. two and one go? Or one is the AT team. Where did squad two go? No skylining, please. Squad 2 is also split up into fire teams. You can split up even more. You ask, get two hats per squad. So it's kind of important to base your fire team around a uh, hat. Starting to get closer now. Russia Squad one's ready. are being cautious, lining up here. Command to squad three. Squad three set. Awesome. Squad two. S squad two is ready. All right, guys, let's go ahead and push in. Uh, rules of engagement obviously are, you know, don't give away our position, but if you need to shoot, shoot. And uh, squad three, make sure you're nice northeast. But move Russia's going to try to play it sneaky breaky. Uh, they got another... Let's figure it out on the map real quick. See, there's the cop in the distance. 
once they get to this position, they're gonna have problems. So they got another 500 meters ish to walk. And if anyone at the FOB starts looking south, I imagine they're gonna get audio right around that time. If they don't beforehand, and then we'll see these guys initial D straight down this road and then probably pop over and hit him from the side. AT team, they're taking positions on the uh, north side of the interchange, the busted interchange here on Yeho. Which would be a smart position if it weren't like, what, 20 minutes into the round? 15, 10 minutes into the round? So the AT team is going to have to react pretty, pretty decisively here. Right, you need to call in firing solutions for your tanks, so your tanks can move north as much as they need to, but they won't be able to see what they're shooting at. So you'll call in those firing solutions, and they'll be able to suppress the the point while we push in. Interesting. Your your tanks for those uh those blind fires. So they're going to use the tank as artillery. Copy that. They're going to leave the tanks by themselves. Um, I thought that was a strike. That's our I don't, I can't, I don't, blind fire. I don't oh, ew, okay. Oh, okay, I know exactly what we're looking at. We're looking at halfway up, like, Charlie 14 area. So, we straight up can't right. see. Yeah, no, we can't. Yeah. Just north of me, that tank's probably Like the, the dark patch yep. in Charlie uh, 14. Right now. If they want to yeah. start moving, uh, Bravo 14, <laughs> Charlie 14 will be their, their firing bridge. All right, so the Russians look like they might be rolling their tanks up north. It's going to get pretty sick pretty quick. Uh, AT have split up. That's not good. U.S. seem generally unaware anything's going on to their south. Slystron's looking, but he's going to hear audio before he sees anything, I think. And he's not going to have a way to fire. So the toes are going to be kind of useless at the base. So they're going to have to rely on their heavy AT assets. Go, man. Before anything happens. Delta 1448 compound to clear it. Come in, we'll push up to the right. I think Raf may have just got audio. Um, I was looking at this if it was me. They're going to be in Charlie 12 3. That's, that's where I would have put it. So we're, we're ready to engage. So please be careful. And uh, so the call has been made. Rush up close to within 300 meters. U.S. have no toes. PA team in the wind. They're going to be a factor after contact for sure. AT team. Oh, well, maybe not this one. This one has to use this bridge. If they go in the water, they have to scuttle the vehicle. And a U.S. squad moving in the open got caught out, and they roll right straight into the ridge line, or the tree line. BMP engaging. <laughs> Mr. Aggie hiding behind fence. Uh, looks like the Americans are... Not going anywhere for right now. And the AT guys, here comes the vehicle back across the bridge. And Jack's leading his AT team. And now it depends on how much they can get done. This could be trouble. The squad from the east. It's not going to be unexpected, but it is going to be a problem here once they start moving east. Uh, one of my, my drivers left. Would it be okay to have one of my other infantry that become a crewman? Yeah, yeah, sort it out. B 
BTR is going to be a key asset in this assault, especially against soft infantry targets. What it doesn't know is the BTR is going to be the saving grace for this armor attack. It's going to take the first hit from the AT. Oh, and if they keep going northeast, they're going to walk straight into this tow. Oh no. And then that trench spreads across to Delta 13. That trench is where anti anti armor is going to be. They're going to be waiting in that trench, just like a battle. Of Slice could take a shot at this tank, or this would be BMP. Hey, well. Grunt. And the command is dead. One of the BMPs got hit pretty badly there, and they've abandoned it immediately. So, I didn't hear it launch, but Slicetron was able to get the toe off. And there goes the BMP. It's gonna continue to be more of a BMP or more of a uh, infantry push as Russia lose vehicles and that's a big one to lose even before the flankers come into contact here and look at that AT team of 240 full of heavy AT and the tow launcher coming in behind be good for three's tank to fire from because of the hill um, recommend that we send it Closer to one's tank. Yeah, go for it. I just want to keep those tanks firing. If we, I, I want to unload every shell that, that our tanks have into the compound while our infantry pushes. Not enough firing going on for that sort of uh, mission. BTR starting to climb up the hill. Russian infantry need to get a move on. Their window of opportunity is closing fast. AT approaching from the southeast, north. Pretty much in line with the defense of the FOB. There's two, I believe that was um, Slicetron on the toe. I was right behind it and I didn't hear it fire. There's no tanks firing on the objective right now. Um, looks like we can push it. BMP starting to take some fire on target. Russia have this tow covered now. So it's going to be difficult to use. Here come some tank rounds. Hopefully they loaded H E. Oh, Knight's got a pretty decent position here for this H E gun. Or for the heavy ma heavy machine gun. If he can just like not freak out like he's doing and get closer to the wall. It's not good. One of the two MATVs have closed in with the northern defense line. Second one is going to come right up behind these tanks and start hitting them in the ass. Tank shells flying. Push that trench line in Charlie 13. Perfect, go for it. Infantry starting to get in here. Uh, tanks are over firing here. Ooh, this infantry can't really support the base. Not from this position, they're gonna have to move closer. Uh, maybe the US are starting to put some uh, fires out here. Let's take a look behind. Bartok is gonna have himself a whale of a time. He's choosing, he's gotta choose his target though. Uh, Bravo 12-6, possible tow uh, fired from, if that matches here. 
your your info as well. Oh, they took a shot from the uh, Bravo 12. Oh, okay. So they took a shot from northeast here or northwest here. Tanks are going to have the zoom. They need to get in on this. We're talking inching closer here to the back end of a T-72. He doesn't know it yet, but he has a perfectly rear shot. Tanks are continuing. Zanki and Redibus are pulling a BMP straight on to Bartok. Bada bing. There's one B another BMP down. Command one test BMP taken out. Understood. Bartok is gonna have a field day. Bartok's probably reloaded his ammo already. This is the problem for Russia. U.S. have so much. They have so many AT assets. Ooh, tank destroyed. The gunner off the tow Humvee or tow Mat V. Second shot in. And there it is. And I believe that's another BMP down. So Russia down to BRDM, BTR, two tanks. And the tank knows where that RPG was fired from. That's solid logic, but... Yeah, I'm going to look towards that dead rat. I definitely saw an infantry dismount, but yeah, I didn't see if he had it. No Russia going to commit a tank into the infantry assault here. Infantry assault not going well. Because it's not actually happening. Russia just dug in a line, but it looks like some guys are going around to the west. Money man running straight up the trench towards Alpha Guido. Another tow goes out. Inside the town, 070. Looks like a miss. Our tow just fired from Bravo 12 6 area. Uh, we're moving up on it. Squad 1 be Frost and Salty Toe stay able to dodge that guy. Money man just got zinged. Okay, I'm back to Greenhouse. Oh. Inky needs Engaging. to f figure out what he wants to do. Alpha and Rangi are still not it's announced. Yeah. Command is my squad number. And there's the totem ramp. That was just a fact. Alright, we're pulling out. Squad one, it's Oh, looks like Oboho logo got snapped. Do we go north this is round one, Chubbs. Tank shells coming in. Copy that. Chain of command is up by squad. Uh oh. Kimchi and Lagar. They're shooting onto the fob, but very shortly they're going to be shot in the rear end. Looks like they already have. Feel free to reload. And they just hold down. Scroll one, what guy's doing over there? With the south. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it's been destroyed. Never mind. I thought they. Uh, I thought they recovered the vehicle. <laughs> it's been destroyed.
Oof. Knight gets blown up by a tank. Sasa just got splatted. I heard that. Russia in a pretty strong position. Just nailing everything. But Hanu just went behind and got shot up by this AT team. Grenade being thrown. That doesn't have the distance, right? Oh no. It bounced back at him, I think. Russia doing a great job of thinning out the resistance here at the cop. Right now, Killer is getting run down by a ranking alpha. Grenades oh, are coming out. Grenade. grenade was good, just not quite the distance there. Yep, go we have not been killed. Oh, so I think we should here. If you want to push with this tree line like that, so I beat you out with supporters. Daltron got lit up from. Yeah, what was Daltron? Eastern side of compound. Looks like the AT team started to run in. If you can send your um, BTR to him. No, he was... Uh-oh. The command BRDM is about ready to run up on AT team members. So if, they got, if they got maws, they got shots for days, and this is a rear shot on the BRDM. I think if you have a maws, you take this shot regardless. If the target is moving. Have we eliminated that toe in Bravo 12 6 yet? Or is it, is it gone? I lost it. Alright, we should be held down. Tell me what you can see. I need to move the trees. AT team starting to run from the south. Or do you want. Just let me know. Still a tank in the field. I think Iraqi and Alpha are going to have time, a good time with that here in a second. Legger and Kimchi are still standing right here. They just got smacked in the left, and that's bad. Is it us? And C-72 down. And <laughs> Kimchi shot up by Slater for good measure. This is a one-life event. And that T-72 is down for the count. Wait, the, BM, the BTR just ran straight into Man Honcho. Man Man Pete, they don't know it's here. Fizco is the squad's uh, AT. Uh, you better believe that tow M ramp's looking for this target right now. Circle around the north side. BTR is looking for. Infantry crossing trench. Oh, looks like one of the AT team got uh, unlucky and crossed the wrong position. Yeah, we're too far north now. Nice and slow. BTR versus. It's gonna be right in front of them. Direct shot, and that's it. BTR is gonna go. Bail out. Bail out. Are they going to be able to bail before it pops? Yes. And the tow M ramp. Called it as a hat. The same effect, really, so no big deal. Russia starting to close in here. T-72 is charging Bartok. Missed a T-shot. Tank is scanning, <laughs> looking for it. I think that was Koba with a shot. Is that Koba? Yeah, Koba probably took a shot at that. Koba coming back up. I'm looking, yeah, looking southeast. 
But that's the other uh, Matt V tow. Just so they don't want harm. Ooh, what a position. Bartok has a clear shot now if he wants to take it. And looking, I don't see. Oh, oh wait. We're gonna talk about the Maws. He's gonna take a shot here. Side hit. And it's been tracked. And the tank's gonna cook off. Frost runs straight in the Bartok and Koba. Ooh, Koba takes a frag. But that's Russia's tanks gone. So what remains? Russia with its sizable force have been whittled down. Wait, Fisco has walked. Oddball gets zinged by Fisco. Hey, do we have a visual on that toe that's taking out our VIX? Buzzy's also been hit here. Uh, which one? We've taken out two so far. Which one? Fisco pieing the corner, trying to find him behind the, uh... There you go. Shot underneath the lodgy. Wow. And it's gone pear shape for Russia. Russia down to six. As Saltitos gets walked up on by Bartok and Dubs. Keep driving. Move, move, move. Enemy to behind you. <laughs> what was that? They tried to they try to put a mine on the the RDM. Yep. But quantum might die. I think quantum has no AT. He's bandaging again. That bush, probably. There you go. Is he still there? Yep. Yeah. Oh, wrong bush. I don't see him in the bush. Go ahead, come in. Did, uh, did lawn darts get the guy Where that the he was driving he over? And US have retaken the cap. So it's just a BRDM plus five infantry. From your southeast. Squad 2 have retaken the position and all of US have fallen back to the cop now. US on 6, 7 infantry. Well, I guess 8. Uh, I'm watching him. Hold, hold, hold. Uh, no depression. Hold. I see him. Okay, he's dead now. <laughs> <laughs> like I'm staring at him and I can't get enough depression. <laughs> uh, that dude was pretty sneaky. Camo's pretty good. Alright, so right, the BRDM is rolling up west side, and guess what else is able to see west side? Slater in the toe. Actually, I don't think he's got a shot here. Well,. Uh, Alright, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna start pushing in two. Charlie 1233 has got that. That'll do it. Five guys. Let's move. I see infantry on the south side of the wall. Just looking at them the whole time. I don't think he had, I don't think he had AT. So. I mean, he wasn't, he wasn't. The camo is actually really good here all night, so. And now it's all going to come down to, can this pincer tank actually take out enough men? No more vehicle assets available for US. Looks like they've ditched their 240 mat V down here. All right, keep moving to the best you can. And it's crewmen versus well-equipped and fully equipped soldiers. So it's not going to end well. Same. 
U.S. have abandoned north side defense, so maybe Prez and, uh, and, uh, Soldier here can, uh, as soon as we get up on this wall, get some lucky shots. And move in. They're gonna get, they're gonna get given up by a sound first. Man, man, Pete is actually a sneaky position here, but I think he's falling back. I think they saw a bow in the field. Right now. Uh, northeast of me, so one right by you. On the northwest corner. Copy, I'm getting close. Is not good for Russia. The shots are right over his head, but uh, Perez and Meccano. Oh, or if they, if they were smart, they would start taking the radio and just like walk away from it. <laughs> Bar talk. Bar talk saw Perez. And uh, I think through the wall, Mr. Raggy got tagged there. Soldier can't find an angle. And Bartok finishes him off through the door. It's Bao and Lib. Versus Russia, or versus US. Frank going out. One hits pretty much right on Lib, and Lib lives. Bao, -y, Bao able to take down Slater though. Alright, once we get up a little bit closer. Um, I'll go ahead and stand up and yell up, pop the guy who hits me. 2v5. And Fisco and Dubs. Looks like Raggy also coming this way. Uh, no, I couldn't hear you. Yeah, let's, uh, let's keep pushing in. Um, once we're a little bit closer, I'll stand up and you'll pop the guy who shoots towards me. Copy that. Oh. Lip gets taken out. Here comes Bao, making the charge. Gets zinged by Fisco through a tree. That's GG. Uh, Russia pushing it very far here. Less than a squad remaining for US. It's kind of a... I don't know. Is it a tactical failure for U.S.? I don't know. I would think U.S. would have more alive at the remaining of the round. If their plan hadn't completely failed. Um, hard to tell, though. Anyway, we'll be right back after these messages. Ops is a community focused on immersive and tactical gameplay. Realistic event scenarios create a cinematic experience for players and spectators. Squad Ops is geared towards those who want to experience the rush and thrill of combat within planned operations with defined mission objectives and dynamic engagements. If you're looking for hardcore, tactical, know, and cinematic gameplay, Squad Ops is perfect for you. Our missions and operations are usually streamed live on Twitch and archived to our YouTube channel. To participate in our squad or armor events, head over to our website and Discord for details of how to join in the fun.
And there you go. A message from our... I don't know what that... I, I had plans on what to say after that, but... I, I don't know. All right, let's get on the ground here. That was me. I did that. I saw that. No, you didn't. I don't know. It's something weird. It's something that happens with clicking back into focus. I don't think this used to happen with Windows 10. Maybe it did. I don't know. One day. One day we'll use this in an op. One day soon, maybe. Anyway, this is Metal Monsters. Round two starting soon. We're getting everyone back in the server, getting vehicles coming in. We're going to be following Raph as he tries to do what Bounce Check Out Run tried to do in round one. Metal Monsters is attack defend operation. Russia attacking from here at the main with a reasonable uh, mechanized force against US setting up a cop somewhere on the map here we have a decent idea of what that position is right off the gate uh, they also have a lot of AT assets as you saw every squad for US has two hats um, and the AT squad has four Plus, they get two tow. Uh, the AT squad has two tow M ramps to use, and they can build two tows at their fob. Uh, based on the position of the fob, they'll either have two or three lodges to build with. So that's either two or three thousand build, or sorry, two or three thousand ammo, and then four or six thousand build points. Uh, the AT squad also has a 240 Bravo mounted on an M ramp. Or sorry, Matt V. Uh, sorry, old habit. Uh, they can also build an ammo box, so infantry can always stay filled up. Lots of rockets to use, lots of ammo to use for those rockets. All that jazz. Um, looking at Raf with Inquisition, Matt Honcho, and Jack for uh, Russia, and we're gonna have. Um, Bouncing out run running with Kill J, Hanu, and Utopian JJ for US. We're gonna be listening to Russian comms. Most players have rejoined their squads, just getting kits figured out and organization done. I imagine the big question is here's Russian kits, by the way. Uh, where do all the vehicles go? Russia have a lot of vehicles. Two T-72, three BMP-2, one BRDM, one BTR-80. Uh, every infantry squad for Russia will also have access to two ARs, one LAT, one Medic. But of course, you're going to need drivers. So there is a infinite amount of crewman kits. Of course, we also saw the, uh, the crewman kits. Big problems. They don't have a lot of ammo to carry. Matter of fact, let me show you how much ammo a crewman can carry. My bad. So we're just gonna equip a crewman kit from here. Let's take the crewman rifle. Oh, yeah, we fixed it. Hit, uh, five or six. But they do have an AKS 74U. Sorry about that. Thank you. But hey, it's not like vanilla where there's only like two kits. What does the uh, lead crewman have here? Wait, do we give the lead crewman... Okay, I thought we gave him AT mines for a second. <laughs> um, but he does have pistol. 
that's that's all that's required. Yeah. So. No, I'm not losing my mind here. All right. So here are the assets getting spawned in, getting ready to go. Players still looking to join squads, getting organized here. Imagine who goes what is kind of important. There's a lot of vehicles. So lots of crewmen. Oh, that's weird. Lots of people spawning in from the midair. It's probably because an admin went uh, straight to spectator cam. Yeah, I'll take a gunner. I'm probably better at that, to be honest. From the word go. So we all know players like Bartok are really good with the RPGs, with the lats. Looks like he's not going to be driving a vehicle this time. Always a good chance for Bartok to throw in that uh, massive RPG shot. What the heck? Turret sound. Hmm. Man, my case is making a lot of noise. I think it's time for a, uh, to do a once over, maybe do some upgrades on the computer. Can't upgrade the video card, I don't think. I mean, I could, but. This is what I get for using the pre-build, even though it was cheap. Let's see, how much did it, here, actually, here's something I'm curious about. The video card that I have, how much does it cost now? Sheesh. So I think I paid like 750 for my rig a few years ago. Not that long ago. Oh, that's Australian dollars. I can't use that for price comparison. Five hundred dollars. So that's how much my card costs on Newegg right now. Retails for five sixty-two. Uh, so I have an RX five eighty, eight gig. Wow. Jeez, some of these vendors have 580s that cost a thousand dollars. What the? Up there. Oh, oh, so Sapphire Pulse, Radeon, RX 580, 8GB, GDR5, PCI Express 3 by 16, Crossfire Support, $909.89 with $50 shipping. Bruh. Of RX 580 is like a 720p 60 <laughs> realistically gaming card. Older games you can do 1080p 60 for sure. Right, this is everyone. People are in their vehicles, but they can hear your good command. Okay. 
So guys, we did good right. last round. So let's get this going now. Let's listen to Raph. Maps. We're gonna be going down this. Uh, the enemy contact is rumored to be around Kilo Ten. Okay, they're gonna be somewhere in that area. We gotta go there. You gotta take them out. So to do this, we're gonna have the tank marker in the very south at P11. That is going to be Squad One. Okay, this position squad. Your guys' job is gonna be screening for the convoys coming up from the south and making sure no one tries to flank us from that way. Jack, or Han Solo Cup squad, is going to be that helmet marker. You guys are going to be moving down that main little road, and you're going to be moving through the woods as well in the 11 little grid. Okay? So you guys are going to be moving as little two things. You're going to be moving to the west. You're going to be the main attacking element from that direction. And then Matt's squad, squad two, you guys are going to be up at those mine markers. Those three separate mine markers are each going to be a separate vehicle, and you're going to be moving in from the north in order to take out that point. It's a pretty straightforward plan. Do I have any questions? No questions? Alrighty then, let's let's get set up for live. Yay. So wait, Kilo 10 is where the radio is? Kilo 10. 2-2. Two, two. Oh god. I think it'd been cool just to build like drum walls or the wood walls, put the radio right in the middle of the intersection. You know, if this wasn't a one what the hell? life event, I might try that. Oh, Raf just got. Sorry, what mistake? Hello. In front of you. Yeah. Radio oh, use. Got it. Go, uh, go Kilo. Say what? Yeah, yeah. But you are used to, uh, gunning T-72s. And here's round two. No, yeah. The traffic jam is real. Problem? Almost a problem. I guess Jenks just have a hard time getting up that small hill there. All right, so we heard part of the plan. Screen south, main attack, east to west. And then I guess we have someone coming up here as well. I wasn't sure who was going to be on the north to south attack, but uh, we have a split in the AT team. One tow Matt V heading north, and then uh, the other two vehicles, tow Matt V, 240 Matt V heading west immediately from the spawn point. We can see building has commenced one tow northwest, one HMG northeast, one tow south. And this is a farmhouse. No, this is not a farmhouse. This is just a little, a little compound. I think these are all residential buildings. Right? Because the farmhouse intersection... Oh, is this the farmhouse? No, it's not. That's the farmhouse. These are residential buildings. Uh, the hill and the trees behind here are... I believe they exist for real, but there's a trench that runs somewhere along here. That's that trench. Little field here. I gotta get re-familiarized with what's going on here. Um, but uh, let's take a look. Command V getting set up here as the armored column begins to move south. Uh oh. I guess the tanks just halted. Okay. I don't know why I thought that tank flipped, but I guess the tank is waiting for the other tank. So we do have two BMP, three BMPs, so all the BMPs north. Looks like most of the infantry... Actually, no. Not most of the infantry. 
So the infantry or the BMPs are just going to take a take a lane here and just drive south. Hmm. This is a great position for the BTR for the uh, for the AT team to sit in. This AT might have problems, but they are in the low ground and they are running through trees. So they're just trying to find a better position here. And I think they may have just found it. Unless they're not going to go up this hill. Guarding this road and getting eyes east on this road would be important. They're not going to try. Tanks are going to turn down this road. They should have ears on this. And they'll probably bug out. They keep moving though, they're not going to have ears on the tanks. This is a decent spread for Russia here. So BRDM rolling with infantry, BTR close support. This is the main attack squad. And then we have three BMPs going to go north to south here. Let's take a look and see this position now. Toe launcher looking up the road. This is kind of a brilliant position. I imagine the tank's going to be moving. So anything shot here is going to be a snapshot. Tanks are holding position on the road. This is supposed to be an interdicting blocking force. Doesn't look like they're screening the infantry to their north yet. BMPs, on the other hand, have started moving through off the road. Very smart. I don't have command comms, do I? Oh no. All right, look, we got command comms now. I'm all freaking out. Oh, he has AT. So he's definitely gonna wanna be out of the vehicle. Scottish. You're gonna be able to engage first so that you draw attention. Here comes Tank. It's just, uh, if we get in contact, we're gonna die in one shot, so we're trying Inquisition, to... squad leads in the first tank with Alpha Guido and Grunt. Makes sense. They hear it. Lawn darts in the tow. This thing is any visible. Oh, with the tank. Up on the road. Lawn darts is following the tank. Oh, the tank stops here. It's... There's problems gonna be had. Tank is visible. It looks like the opportunity has passed. Tank doesn't know it's there. Uh, squad one to plan. We are moving in pace with squad three to the point. Understood. That is juicy. Oddball and Scottish are gonna go volley the tank. Raggy, GJ Russ, Slicetron in the second T-72, just chilling. Russia are now within two grid squares of the bob, of the, the cop. The bob. I don't think Oddball and Scottish are going to chase down the tank on foot. Although if the tank stops... Watch, don't overextend our tanks, guys. We're pushing that one tank. Alone, basically. Yeah, push two tanks so that the tow can get a kill and the AT can get a kill. A little bit. Uh, do you want the tank to roll to the west more? No, just have it have it slow down a bit. It's going too fast. Uh, Raf's more interested in the tempo. Oh, I forgot about these guys. 
squad two. Can you tell me uh, where they are approximately? Run into infantry? They said 50 meters. I don't but about 50 meters, I think. 50 meters? So they should be popping up at the bridge? I don't see anyone near the bridge, so 50 meters kinda sus call. And this is the last time I'm gonna say that. Oh, look at that. Lawn darts. Looks like Utopian really wants to commit to the, the pincer on the tank. Uh, squad, what's your command? Uh, there's a radio tower on near me to the west. Uh, if we push that way, we might have eyes on Kilo 10 on the point. Go for it. Tank is just going to push out here. Let's take a look at the defenses on the point itself. Roadblock. With Lodgy, lots of, uh, lots of sandbag walls. And then in the compound itself, minor sandbag walls. Extension off the building. It's pretty smart. Okay, have that first. And the radio is going to be in the uh, workhouse here. Even from here, I hear the vehicles. Yeah, have that, have that furthest east tank start moving up to your position. And here we go. We're getting close. Uh, I don't think these two are going to have a shot. Unless they go straight up the road. If Russia goes straight up the road north to south, then sad times. This is kind of a sick position. Not quite what they're looking for, though. The tow might be looking at them. Who's on the tow? Money Man's on the tow. So you can see Money Man. Hey Grant, you see that clump of trees to our about zero thirty? Ooh, look at that! Money Man has no shot to the trees. Uh, don't, don't, well, I don't, don't see it. Don't. I heard explosion. <gasps> Did it kill the tank? Uh, squad one two command one a tank down one tank down. What happened to that? Probably the uh, anti-armor squad. Just gotcha. Okay, let's rush on that point because it's definitely should be a vol volley shot. I'm sad I missed it. Dang, on it. So let's be, let's speed up this a little bit. Hopefully. Russia already down one T72. Command, uh, this is squad one. Do you want us to push in? Where you're at at that radar tower? Do you have eyes on Kilo Ten? Not good eyes, but. Command, can you repeat, please? Do you have eyes on the objective? Jack just gets killed as he runs in front of his squad. Very smart. Command, this is three. Uh, Jack just got fucked. Gotcha, what engaged you? This is bad. This is bad. And the USF HMG watching this entire area. They're on top of the crossroads. Understood. Wait, what? Money man on the right side of your screen here, now moving towards the top. Has the tow launcher. Tow launched, hit a BMP up north. To the south, west of the Understood, try and engage that. We got multiple vehicles. Oh lord. Is there enough depression here? Actually, it may not be a problem if the tank just gets right in. Tank stuck. Money man probably doesn't have a shot. And I'm proven wrong immediately. And Grunt's not telling the guys to get out. So, say goodbye to Alpha Guido and Inquisition. 
Any second now. Two T-72s gone. And one BMP gone. This is bad. This, 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 this is bad news for Russia. They lost too many assets too early. And it's going to be an infantry attack going on in. And they have to go into this HMG. Which, granted the HMG is only really looking east. And it's a low HMG. Alright, Kimchi, get a toe kill on infantry. Oh, there's still two BMPs up here, so maybe it gets a BMP kill. BMP... Takes a shot at Redipus. <gasps> oh, Lego got a kill! Uh, as you keep going west, you're gonna fight wow. Lego got a kill and just blew up one of the BMPs. Fully crude. To the southwest. I saw it come in. To the southwest? Ow. There's no one out there. Yeah, that did come in from behind, Raf. Uh, did it? Put a hat right on him. Oh, shit. Actually, wait, how much people does Bartok have squad, with him? Squad 2 is down to uh, 1 BMP. Gotcha. Have that BMP be a little bit more care shell. Care. Care. Word. You know what I mean. Alright, so Kimchi, you gonna get a toe kill? But I can't get the gun on him. If BMP goes forward, BMP is dead. Yeah. Say goodbye to the BMP. Okay, hold on. Three, two, one. One more seven. See him? You see him? Kimchi. Kimchi. On the tree. Kimchi. Oh, he doesn't have a shot. Front armor shot on the BMP. It's gonna be enough for the cook off. Redipus dies to panic fire. Kimchi gets hit. Not enough. The second toe shot misses. Great idea to use a smoke, but it's not gonna survive. Slater gets out. Baskin needs to get out of there or he's gonna pop. There goes Basket. <laughs> They're destroying that destroyed vehicle. <laughs> I think it was a tow truck or the tow emplacement. Northwest on the road here. Alright, who gets gonna kill the BRDM? Okay, our guys in the crew. Cobra just killed a guy, guys. Kimji's still up. Uh, Kimji is gonna get a kill on this BRDM. BRDM. Wait, hold on. Behind its handbags. Great shot by Koba. Yeah, <laughs> well, I guess Kimchi not going to uh, get that kill there. The toe is over here anyway. Yeah, I have audible and MRAP to the west. MRAP moving behind. The 240 is coming up to support. They probably need to switch places. The MRAP is running straight on, but there's only Bartok. Yeah, tow MRAP is right in front of me. Yeah, southwest. squad three, be careful with your vehicle. Hit this shot, Bartok. Rear shot of them to nice. Matt V. Once. Oh, you gotta do it right next to me. Thank you, Bartok. I'm gonna get killed. There we go. Killed, killed, uh, the 
Bartok gets a tow and ramp kill. Here comes the 240. <laughs> Someone give Bartok rockets. What? Yeah, we killed a tow and ramp to the west. And uh, the three infantry inside of it. I actually, that was really telling. The, uh... BRDM is still up. BTR is now moved north. This is swung, but it's still pretty bad. BRDM is now getting zeroed by Money Man. BRDM is running straight in front of Money Man. Say goodbye to BRDM. Frederick and Koba go down. What is Honu shooting? Is Honu shooting at Ahedda? Yeah, we can't cross the road to the MRAP is dead to our west. And why is Rusty all the way over here? Understood. Uh, three, which vehicle do you have left up? Your BTR, the scout car. Uh, the enemy car. Oh, you can't use the HMG? Why? So as far as defenses go, ooh, look at that, down to 200 ammo. They might not have enough to rearm the tow. I think Honu tried to take a look at the BTR here and got popped. He got hit once, but Honu's going to be fine for now. Should be just the HMG. Here, back us up. Infantry to the north as well. And here comes... The BTRs, Londarts and Scottish and Lagar coming in. Bartok's got AT and he's gonna probably try to look for the 240 and he's gonna see it. And I don't know if that was a hit or not, but it looked like it was. Reload here. Yep, that was a hit. Up oh, goes Spitfire and Utopian. Alright, one time's the MRAP to our northwest. We have one more Bartok air. needs more ammo. <laughs> but it looks like Lon, Lagar, and Scottish are gonna ditch the, uh, the tow. Copy. So, just to be sure, the both tow are down? We destroyed one, and we destroyed a 240 MRAP, but that was about it. So one tow arm map still remains. Oh, it's, there's still one tow up. Unless that one got dismounted. But Sasa is about to get smacked in the rear. Lagar and Scottish looking for a kill. Scottish gonna get a kill. My BTR just went down. Okay, we're down to just infantry. Uh, we got this, guys. Okay, we can do this. I believe in us. I mean, I don't believe in myself, but I believe in you guys. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna try to send my infantry south to find the radio. Gotcha. Towards the objective, very good. Have we had anyone check the actual intersection itself for the radio? Like, on top of the road? I don't see it. Man, that would be Mimi just to put the, inter the radio in the middle of the intersection. Links to the further south. The you know, one day I'm gonna do that. Uh, I'm that gonna myself. send my entire squad south across the road. So let's see your numbers here. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Wait, what? Hedda and Coop's in a firefight. No, I'm... Coop's got smacked. And here comes a grenade from Hedda. Uh, Too far. Gotcha. Coop's bandages. The rest of the Russians are coming up over the hill. Oh, look at this. The sandbag is actually destroyed so much. Taking shots at Coops. Yeah, the one guy, he's uh, on the other sandbags. Meanwhile, Coops gonna shred Bartok. They can't hit him. But it's time to walk up on this dude. Yeah. 
Edit, it's time to walk up on this dude. Big laugh, Bartok TK's Hedda. And very shortly, Bartok will join Hedda in the afterlife. Somebody got to hit him. And Bartok crawls back to cover. The window of opportunity to make some sort of meaningful assault is closing for Russia. Russia down to five. I think Scottish is shooting from the intersection. No, yeah, someone's shooting north. Anyway, three, let's take another three, six, nine, twelve. There's probably more. Grenade. Bartok got zinged from the north. I think Legar took a shot at him. Bartok's bandaging. And is gonna make it. I'm good. Bartok, I'm good. You are. Alright, sweet. Oh, I got Bro, eyes on just this AR with my man. Running in the open. The red dot sides on this fucking. Matt enemy. finally gets coops. What a shot! I didn't throw a smoke. That's still an impressive shot, though. All the cu all the concealment that Coops had, and he had the sandbag. And Coops caught so many problems. He caught he uh, drew the fire for that TK, and he survived the rocket. To the east, it looks like, and we have contacts to the north. All right, so it's down to raft now. U.S. called in the uh, U.S. called in the bomb strike <laughs> that they forgot they had. You uh, anyone still alive? I feel very alone out here. All right, let's uh, zoom in on Raf. What's he gonna do? Raf have a kill yet? No. Very hurt. Getting shot at. All my friends are dead. I mean, all my acquaintances are dead. I don't have any friends. Very sad. So I got out to the north at. Anywhere around there? Legar's gonna come Excuse up the me. hill here. Maybe Scottish is closer. Lawn also moving. Very violent. We can just talk this out. Scottish might have a chance to see him as he emerges from the bush here. There he is. Hey, mister. I'm over this way. Oh, wait. He saw Legar run across? Over there still. Scottish Psalm, yeah. Aha, he's he's suppressing where I last was. Meaning they don't know where I am. Oh maybe that's true. But Legar is gonna get the trade on whatever happens here. Meaning I'm gonna go He's gonna run at him. Ha ha! And Lon shoots him in the back before he's able to kill Legar, and that's it! Hey, at least he got a kill. Oof. Alright, let's see here. Let's do a few things. But I think. Then. Honk. Alright.